There's a few different types of healthcare plans to look out for. The two most common are an HMO and a PPO. Let's talk through some of the differences. So what is an HMO? HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization, and it's generally your cheapest health insurance option. Typically, your HMO will have low premiums and low deductibles and fixed copays. One limitation of an HMO is that you're required to choose a PCP from their network, and you won't be able to see a specialist without a referral from that PCP. If you don't have significant medical issues and your budget is tight, which is a familiar situation for a lot of young Americans, an HMO might be the right idea for you. A PPO is generally the best quality plan in terms of benefits because you can see specialists and out-of-network doctors without a referral. But these are also the most expensive in terms of your premiums. If you envision yourself needing a lot of medical care and you can't afford these higher premiums, then this is a good choice for you. Two less common types of plans are POSs and EPOs. A POS, piece of sh a POS or point of service plan is similar to an HMO in that you need a PCP to refer you to a specialist, but the plan does cover out of network doctors, unlike an HMO. EPO is not a common type of plan, but you'll see it around. They generally have larger networks, but operate like an HMO in that they cover only in network care. HMO, PPO, EPO, POS. Say that five times fast. HMO, PPO, EPO, HMO, PPO, EPO, HMO, PPO, PPO, HMO, PPO, EPO, POS. <laughs> That's so much to ask. Now let's quickly cover two more types of insurance plans that you may hear about. HSAs, or health savings accounts, and FSAs, flexible savings accounts, are tax-free accounts that you can pay into to help cover medical expenses as they arise over the course of the year. You can use money you've set aside to cover copays, prescriptions, and some medical equipment. So be sure to look at the options available to you from your employer, because it can be nice to have some money set aside every year that's not taxed for your medical bills. Overall, you have multiple options to choose from. What you select will generally depend on your medical needs. Later, we're going to discuss how to think about your health insurance options. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and hit the thumbs up down below and also comment letting us know which lessons you want us to teach next. I'll catch you next time.